I think this is a short. Let's take a look at it. Oh, this is some tech. Aimed at women, for women. Chicks, I'm gonna give you some advice. You wanna get the man of your dreams? Women have basically no idea what men find attractive. You all live in a dream world because if women knew what men wanted to see and hear, you could have any man you wanted. I see chicks out here going, I can't get a good man. Then you're a dumbass, because it ain't hard. Let's start with the basics. No matter where you've been, or whatever amazing things you've done, or what expensive cars you've been in, etc. shut up. Because when you talk about those things, all you're really saying is some other dude. This is the yeah. first tape speech. So this is fantastic. Um, I do think I have a little bit of a sense of what guys want and what they want to hear. I think, I don't know, let, in the chat, let me know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, just from like paying attention. I think oftentimes women like, they, they don't pay attention to the other side. They just want to like reinforce their own opinion about it. And I've been doing a lot of listening, which I think is really important in life. Regardless, he's right. There is nothing worse than that woman who constantly brings up reminders of another guy. She's with you now. Everything seems to be going well. And now she's got to inject, oh, I was in this great, you know, car once. It was so fast. It was so exciting. You know that guy sitting there thinking, who took her in the car? Okay, great. So that box is checked. Next. I don't need to be doing that. I guess she did it already. Oh, yeah. I once stayed in this amazing bed and breakfast. We stayed for five days and we had the most amazing time. All you've just managed to do is put in your new boyfriend's head images of you and your other boyfriend and all the nice things he did for you and all the intimacy and all that. Like, guys don't want to think about that. That is a total, total turnoff. Plus, I already told you, guys love the idea of showing you new things. They love that. They love the idea of being able to do something that puts a smile on your face, take you on that amazing trip, show you things you haven't seen before. If you're starting to list a checklist of all the stuff that the guy before them did for you, he's going to be like, oh, what's left? Did you do it all already? Kind of take some of the joy out of it. I, uh, I know a guy who told me a story once about a woman he was dating and they would get into the bedroom no joke yes it's a bedroom story they would get into the bedroom and she would talk dirty to him about would be like oh yeah you know all the guys like when I do this <laughs> and he no joke and he would be like I'm done I'm out first of all you just told him that you you know you're a little loose what do you mean all the guys how many were there all he's thinking at that moment it's like what number am i am i number five number six how many were there this week secondly no man wants to think about you haven't been with another man ever not at the sixth grade dance honey not at the prom in high school never let alone hours before they got there and maybe hours after they leave no no and i think women do this sometimes because they think that it's going to make the other guy jealous. Like, oh, they're going to get jealous because they're going to have to compete, right? If I tell him that I've been in the nice car before, I've been in the bed and breakfast before, or other guys like when I do this, they're going to get territorial and jealous. That's not how it works. It's a turn off. They don't get jealous as in, oh, yeah, I need to do better now because she told me that the other... No, it's like, why is she bringing up another guy to me? It feels like a mind game. It feels like a girl who's playing games and, by the way, getting involved with way too many men. Maybe she's a little too out there, if you know what I mean. And it's turn off. And guys will then leave that situation. They won't want to sleep with you. They won't want to be entangled with you. And they'll go find someone who makes them feel good and who isn't afraid to let that guy make her feel special. And you know what? Maybe she also had another guy in her life years ago who did nice things for her. But the fact that she doesn't need to bring it up and rub it in his face or constantly make him aware of her past shows him that she has respect for him. So this is disrespectful, this stuff. This stuff that women do is disrespectful. It's not appealing. It's not attractive. It's disrespectful. If you want to watch the full episode, you're going to click right here. And if you want to ask me a question one-on-one, -on -one, you want to do a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with a group of your friends, whatever you want, you need to download Manect right now. Click right here and let's get talking.